What's up, Jabal here, and today we have a new video. A Mississippi rapper is already messing up his life just before his career takes off to the next level, and we're talking about Superstar Pride from Mississippi, an upcoming rapper who gained popularity after releasing his song Painting Pictures, which has over 25 million views in nine months, but started to gain traction on his TikTok, which we know how TikTok is. Once anything goes viral, it keeps going, and more people catch on. Now, just a few days ago, on July 19, 2023, reports came out that a 40 year old man was gunned down in panola county it happened around 12 30 p.m and when deputies arrived at the home on highway 35 north they found the man unresponsive with multiple gunshot wounds he was identified as marcus wheatley and during the investigation the grandmother of the victim whose name is mary ann strong she told detectives that 21 year old superstar pride real name Kadarius pride was the main suspect and he is responsible for her grandson's murder and she told police everything she witnessed the shooting she saw her grandson get killed right in front of her and it is just very sad how everything went down i'm pretty sure she was very terrified of what she saw and in this news clip she goes into detail about what happened she pretty much says that pride came into the house and started to chase marcus down and then that is when he started shooting he was a really nice person. Mary Ann Strong is the grandmother of 40-year-old Marcus Wheatley, gunned down Wednesday behind his mobile home where he was a barber. Strong says she saw Kadarius Pride, AKA Superstar Pride, the man charged with Wheatley's death, enter the mobile home, heard loud voices, and saw an armed Pride chase her grandson out of the mobile home. And the young man was following him, shooting at him, and he finally shot him down. Strong ran to this field and she watched in horror as Pride continued to fire at her grandson. He fell here. He shot about three times after he fell. And he walked over to me and he pointed the gun at me and asked me if I was going to tell it. She says she had no idea what Pride meant, but she says he wasn't finished. And he came back out here and fired a last shot in his head. She says Pride left in his red pickup truck, later found abandoned in Pope, Mississippi. He later turned himself in to the Panola County Sheriff's Office. Pride's father could offer no reason for what his son allegedly did. You know, it's still just something that's got to be looked into and um, to see what, you know, what all transpired, you know. Now this entire story is very sad. The fact that Pride himself decided to commit this horrific act, knowing that he has a promising career and it was going to take off he decided to do this and now his career is going down the drain and the fact that this man was his barber is also wild as well but the fact that the grandma was unheard is very good because she's seen everything go down and now pride is behind bars he decided to turn himself in but obviously this older lady she now has that image of her grandson getting gunned down which is something that no one should ever witness their loved one getting gunned down in such a horrific way and i'm pretty sure pride himself is now regretting what he did because like i said he had a promising career and now it's going down the drain but it is what it is and that is it for this video leave a comment let me know what y'all think rest in peace to marcus but yeah i'm out